shopping. What's going down in the life of a boy to go for the month of March? <laughs> Are we honing new spiritual abilities, making decisions, and actually literally grounding ourselves? Because this Mercury retrograde in Pisces, baby, has not been nice to a Virgo. Let's talk about it. Hey, boo, hey. If this is the first time you're on my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is the first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can best resonate with you without cussing. All right? Because me, I'm going to do that. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family. We a little dysfunctional. We may cry a little bit. We don't cuss. We love. We evolve. We share. We enlighten. Posy vibes only. We don't fuss and fight. We leave that shit on other people's channel. All right? But to my returning subscribers, familia, about this damn retrograde in Pisces, it does not feel so great because it's making every, it, first off, between the miscommunications as well as the the shifting in the emotional roller coasters of emotions, it's been quite that of uh, a damn whirlwind. So because of that, I want to make sure that you guys are kind of being tempered. I know y'all like Mocha. It's been forever. I know. I know. I know. I've been evolving myself. I'm a human being. I'm not a robot. So I go through shit too. And y'all know if my energy not right, I'm not coming to YouTube with that. I love you all too much to put that up on you. My energy heavy as hell. So I, because I know that, I'm not going to do that to you. I love you. I'm sorry. It's not a piece of dollar, a piece of time, a piece, I'm not that way. I genuinely love people, what I do, and I genuinely walk in my life path with nothing but love. So when I'm having to temper my own shit, I'm not bringing it to y'all, boo, okay? I've been just finding myself in a place of joking. i just been laughing because laughter has really been medicine to the soul. And I feel that, um, oh, you guys, let me get to finish my spiel. This is for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers gang gang, because I'm a Cross Watcher when I'm off. All right? For the sign of Virgo, for the month of March 2019, I may or may not be able to do general uh, mid-month generals because, you guys, I have some other new opportunities popping off in my world. All right? So if I can, I'm not going to make no promises, but if I can, I will. If I will, if I can't, you know, this will be a monthly. All right? But in April, we're going to resume regularly scheduled programming. So if you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. This is simply a general, all right? So we're going to kick off with the intuitive messages that I got for the sign of Wittigal for the month of March. All right, for you all, and you guys, um, take what resonates, leave the rest, all right? Don't make the shoe fit if the motherfucker is too big or small. It's just going to be uncomfortable, honey, all right? So for you all, I got cleansing, compromise, resurface, past life. Prosperous times, energy, vampire, karmic, detox, miracles, control, fortune, yes, come through, Libra, Gemini, health, forgiveness, releasing, toxicity, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Virgo, let's talk about it. All right, so if any of those intuitive messages did um, did actually uh, resonate with you, then this message is definitely for you, all right? So let's get it. The angel message that you guys received for the month was clairvoyance, Archangel Raziel. Y'all, y'all know this light ratchet. We working on it. I ain't rich yet, but when I get there, we're going to get some bitter shit, all right? So with that said, what I got was clairvoyance. I am helping you with your spiritual sight to awaken fully so that you can clearly see heavenly love. Okay, and it's truly, I feel, Spirit is telling me to tell you guys that it's about a decision. It's not about the actual circumstance that's going on around your situation. It's about the decision that you have to make for you. And you are going to be receiving spiritual messages or you could be. it could be happening currently now. The overall energy around the reading was the wild card. Meaning anything is possible. Release and allow. Okay? So let's get it, Vertigo. Alright, so I do see during this time a lot of you all may be seeing a lot of butterflies, which actually signify that newness of abundance that is coming into your world. Alright, and I definitely feel that Spirit is trying to bestow a greater understanding on you all. Some of you all are really needing to align your heart chakra and really um when you meditate, okay, or you find yourself just having that moment alone. 
A lot of you all are having, some of y'all are being gifted a heart shock reunion from spirit. And I feel like for some of you all, it's a catalytic situation to get you from, to keep you from falling deep in thought or judging yourself for that matter in the decisions that you're making. No decision is the wrong damn decision. It's about a choice. You understand? But people beat themselves up about the shadow side of things. Y'all don't take my shoes off and I'm going to keep talking, but you see me leaning because I'm taking my shoes off. I actually got to get center myself right now because I'm talking to such a grounded sign. But I definitely feel that some of you all are being bestowed a blessing from spirit. Mother Universe, Mother Gaia. For some of you all, it's coming in the form of a creative idea or in the form of some type of telepathic connection that you have with another person. Some of you all have someone that you're getting ready to meet. I'm hearing going into, for some of you all, it's going to be May. For some of you all, it's actually March going into April. So for those of you who are meeting new people, please be receptive and be open during this time and get out your own way because you're so damn used to doing things a certain way, especially if you are a Virgo who have fixed energy within your chart, that Leo, that Scorpio, that Aquarius, that um, that Taurus, okay, it's about actually being embracing of the new, okay, and just allowing, some of you all have been manifesting happiness, you've been manifesting abundance, you've been manifesting that new business, and Spirit is saying, you can have it, baby, but you have to be open to receive, and in order to receive intuitively, some of you all are, are already knowing that you're going to have to release something in order to receive something new, and it's fear around it, and it's fear and judgment Towards yourself, I feel like, because some of you all are professional people pleasers. And Spirit is saying, but what about you, Virgo? What about you? You guys bring the beauty to things. You guys are the mother, the nurturer, wisdom. What about you? Okay? You can't save everybody, baby. As we move into March, a lot of you all are really going to be again that heart chakra for those of you who um you practice any type of like crystal um and it, or for those of you who use any type of crystal healing methods rose quartz are going to, it's going to be your best friend rose quartz i'm hearing adventuring and for some of you all it's going to be um agati i i, I believe that's how i say it. that's how it's given to me agati so because of that some of you all are really, really, really needing to focus on your heart chakra. And others of you, there's going to be some um, a balancing happening within the solar plexus, okay? Some of you all, I know it sounds crazy, but mocha hug, damn tree. Some of you all are really needed to get grounded or, or get, into, get into a space where you're able to, like, get barefooted. I don't know how the climate is where you, where you live, but I live in Houston, Texas. And in Houston, it's ratchet here. We've been struggling between 30 and 70 degree damn weather for the last two weeks, which is why Mocha was kind of absent because I also got sick in the midst of that. But I will say it's about a centering. It's a centering that's happening. It's allowing you to actually receive and have that love. And, and Spirit is needing you to carry that self-worth upon yourself in your own vibration it ain't about keeping up with the damn joneses and them and having this and 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 this for everyone else but actually keeping that in the reserve for your damn self you can't fix everybody else's problems understand this understand this right now it's about the self of virgo everything that i truly see here even with spirit is trying to uh, kind of relate to you guys things are aligning for you during this time for some of you all things are aligning for a spiritual partnership a twin flame union okay and things if you're having to separate or you may feel like things are falling down it's only because for some of you all you've kind of taken too long and, and kind of resisted that change and just made a decision not to make a decision so understand that god doesn't come to take sides god don't come to take sides god comes to take over god comes to god comes to put his hands on the situation and pull the reins in the ways that we're supposed to go and it's about us embracing that but because you are virgo you are transmutable meaning that you're interchangeable that simply means that you're supposed to be able to actually go with the flow of things so when you actually pull away from trying to control things and these things can actually come into alignment for you and i do see that harmony within the self actually sitting with you and actually kind of being embedded within your damn dna strands whether you like it or not so for those of you who are like i don't want mocha i don't even know how to do that like i don't even know how to fucking you know not care about everybody else think about the things that are going on in your world take a time instead of judging yourself 
to reflect on where you've been. Reflect on your relationships. Spirit is saying instead of jumping from place to place to place to place just for that feeling and that validation of being, baby, that comes within the self. And that's why that uncomfort is here and, and, and that uncomfort is surfacing during the season of Pisces. I mean, during the season of Pisces, as well as this retrograde in Pisces, it's about things that are usually unlooked at, things that are un, the things that have gone not reviewed, things that need need a little tune up within yourself to assist you and seeing things a bit differently, so you don't have that perception to look at the self of what am I doing wrong? Look at what you know. Am I on the right path? Spirit is saying yes, you are on the right path. But your path, you have to understand that trusting, trusting, allowing, acceptance, and surrendering is going to be a major part of the month of March for you all. Okay. And I do feel that some of you all could also have some form of telepathic connection. I do see you guys having a telepathic connection with someone who could possibly be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And for some of you all, that that centering, there's some type of like divine intervention that I'm hearing. So for if you if you all would just stop trying to control it, then that newness is being birthed. That newness of renew that newness of confidence that newness of self-esteem that newness of putting yourself not on the pedestal of oh i'm all right but no bitch i am never td i'm never td fine bitch it's understanding your essence your substance and being grateful for that you understand because that's the beauty and your superpower that you bring to the world that nurturing but even nurturing comes with balance because you guys are wisdom. You are the architectural mother of the zodiac. With that said, there is balance in every damn thing you do. Think about it with you how you how you balance things out with your children. Speaking of that, some of you all may be having issues um, with your children, or some of you all there's a relationship trying to align with your mother, a newness, a renewal. There needs to be a sense of forgiveness and surrendering and letting go what has happened and only understanding that, yeah, we can't go back and change the past. It had to happen. But for some of you all, it was catalytic situations for you to look at yourself and appreciate the way that you do things without judging yourself. And for some of you all, you're understanding going through some type of ancestral pattern. Things are aligning up for you to give you that understanding of, damn, this is why. You know, my mother may have made the choices that she made in the past. This is why this is this has happened because you kind of understand the ancestral pattern of things, and it's up to you to change it. But forgiveness and looking at a situation from a spectrum of unconditional love is the change, not judgment. And again, that starts with you. Can't nobody else shift your your, your perspective, boo. You know. And so I definitely feel like during this time, a lot of you guys are going to be going through a massive awakening. Some of y'all have twin flames that are water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you all, this king of water is coming to, he coming to get your ass. How did you keep this plan? He coming to get your ass though, okay? This king of water is coming into your life for enlightenment. For some of you all, this is a twin flame union. For some of you all, this is a heart chakra filled union. This union will allow you, will help you to release some of the judgments and some of the aspects of yourself that you do not want to see or that you've never wanted to acknowledge within the self. Because this person is a reflection of you. I'm hearing fire, water. Some of y'all actually may be releasing yourself from air signs and earth signs during this time because it's about an aspect, a balance, a balance, the yin and the yang properties but again everyone has a divine masculine and feminine within the self so again it starts it's kind of like a circle you understand it's like a circle of evolution it starts within the self everything is a mirror in effect even the people who you're having to release yourself from they just help you allow if you really just stop pointing the finger and looking at a situation even people who hurt you from judgment and you look at the situation from a place of a learning experience and you'll see damn that motherfucker was selfish but there are aspects of me that's selfish too because maybe I'm only willing to move a certain way if this person is willing to give me what I want, which is the aspect of emotional control if you just really want to put a stamp on it. It's about the shift within you and understanding that like attracts like. So if you want to attract that abundance, if you want to attract, you can't 
walk into a damn door of abundance with a with a whole bunch of broke ass people around you. It's not going to happen. You cannot excel as the phoenix in a room full of chickens. What they do that at? Oh, you can, but it's still going to require you to do what you feel like you can't do, and that's put you first. Practice solitude and being in tune with your own energy because during this time, your energy is extremely sensitive, and it's because you're healing. Architectural mother of the zodiac. So, of anything, you feel a lot of you all are empaths. And a lot of you all are coming to, a lot of you all are also going through some form of a shift with clairvoyant abilities where you are, where you guys are able to see things through your pineal during this time. Some of you guys are having very vivid dreams that turn into massive ass moments of deja vu, like it's happening immediately. So because we know that we can shift our reality, it's only seeing the love and the positivity of situations in order to shift that circumstance. Get me? So that's what we're healing. If we don't see situations from judgment, then we don't obsess over them to see the bad things that could be possible. We just see the optimism of things. So that shift shit. Get to know your superpower, baby. All right? So let's see what's rocking. What's going on with my babies in love? What's just going on with my babies in love? Where to go for the month of March? <clears throat> what's going on with my babies in love? Feel it, cousins. Be patient. Everything is lining up for you. Good. What is going on? Show me what my Virgos can expect in love for the month of yeah. For some of you all, some of you all are just about done with the situation. For some of you all, this could be you just kind of in your head and resisting. Some of y'all have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that could also be resisting you, or they're resisting moving forward. They're resisting the change. Some of you all are actually resisting the change and moving forward and actually being accepting to an offer that maybe you feel like is small or not enough. However, don't judge a book by its cover. For some of you all, you're moving away from another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you're allowing the towels to fall. And for some of you all, this could also have to do with the scorpion person. Thank you, spirit. This could have to do with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, I'm hearing. But big emphasis on Scorpio. I feel that you're moving into a higher you're moving into a higher consciousness in the way that you look at things. So instead of looking at this person in judgment or looking at this person of what could go wrong around the union or how they could negatively affect you if you choose to give them that offer, just only see love in the match. No titles, no titles, no obligation, simply love. For some of you all, this person could actually be coming to offer you a cup of love and it's going to cause a shakeup or a rift within yourself. And for some of you all, it's actually moving forward and accepting new love, possibly from another herb sign or from um, or from this water sign. But it's going to require you to give up something. And for some of you all, it's giving up the ego, the negative aspects of things, actually accepting defeat before you even become accepting defeat before you even face the war. It's like some of you all could also be dealing with the air sign or you could just be tired of just allowing and I feel strong, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like for some of you all with air, you're just allowing the towers to fall. I feel that this person could be in and out of your life. They could be inconsistent. And you know that you deserve more. You know that you're just really wanting that fulfillment. And so for some of y'all, you could be dealing with a younger air sign. I see you cutting this person off due to inconsistency. I feel like you could have been trying to hold on to things or control the matter. Or this person could have been trying to hold on and control shit. You know, I feel like even when it comes to assets, they could also be helping you financially, like giving you a little bit here, giving you a little bit there. But I feel like this is simply just shut up money and shut up and be happy with this bullshit that I'm giving you. And you're really seeing through that shit like, you know what? I'm worth more. I don't want this shit. You can take it way the fuck over there where you like where you eat all your damn grass at. You know, with the rest of your damn llama gang, because I don't want this shit. Spit, I'm, I'm just going to decide to spit that shit out. You know, and so, some of you all, some of you all, you've been, when you've been holding on to this person because you have a fear. Or some of you all are holding on to a water sign or another earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, because you have a fear of being by yourself. For some of you all, only thing that you know is relationships, so you really don't know how to be by yourself. And that's totally fine, but Spirit is saying, if you trust me, I just want to show you something. Just come on over here. Let me show you something. But you guys are definitely releasing. Releasing. 
releasing relationships, releasing stressful fucking environments, releasing toxic ass people, releasing anything that makes you feel outside of yourself and moving forward. For some of you all, you moving forward, possibly from a fire sign, every still Sagittarius. Some of you all are moving away from an air sign, definitely. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and it's just strictly for half-assness. You, you half-ass. And this is a whole damn boat over here. You can't half-ass them. You can't half-ass. Go with the damn strides of the water in this boat so your ass got to get pushed off the ship. Hope you can swim. All right, so I definitely feel like there is a resistance of moving forward, even though you know that you have this need to. And for some of you all, it's this fear of what well, I won't be. I won't be successful independently. The spirit is saying that the, the devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. You're a lie. Don't live in that place of fear. Do not accept defeat before the war, before the trumpets of the war has even sounded. When you tell yourself, I've already won, then you know it. You claim it. You believe in that shit like you believe in waking up in the morning and so be it. It is yours. This is about facing your fears. Okay? Allow the towers. Face your fears, baby. It's safe. Let's clarify. What is this tower card here for? And some of y'all definitely cutting off ass. Some of y'all could also be cutting off a Pisces person. And I feel like it has to do with... <sighs> With this Piscean person, I feel like it has to do with an influx of feelings. I feel like there's like a tug of war of emotions, and I also feel like a sense of like manipulative, like mind fucking, long, strong, long, deep strokes of mind fucking somebody making someone feel as if like, what are you gonna do without me? Or you can't do this without me. <laughs> La, okay? Because Spirit is saying you're on the brink of a new beginning. You have to let this tower fall in order for you to actually see abundance. Some of you guys have been wondering, what's going on with my finances? Why thing, Why are things not moving forward? Because you have people in your life, places in your life. They're a job. Your job could be a blockage, boo. Your family and their fucking distractions and keeping you from seeing your damn target and your friends and the people who put things in your... Have friends that speak life into you. Any motherfucker that put any type of projection on... What you want to do, your dreams, they got to go. They got to go. It's enough people in the world that don't believe in it. You know, they don't believe in shit. Not even themselves. And it's a sad thing. But the reality of it is that we can't change that shit. We can only adjust how we deal with it. And we got to handle it accordingly, you know? Some of you all, for those of you who have been um, trying to move, I do see that move being successful, but it's going to... I don't, I'm not going to say settle. I do feel like the move is going to be successful, but it's not going to be what you planned on initially. Spirit is saying the second option. So for those of you who have a plan A and a plan B, Spirit is saying to well, save your time on plan A. Plan B is your best bet when you walk on. Thank you, Spirit. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Virgo? Why is the Ten of Swords here? This is Virgo. For some of you all, this has to do with your job. I'm tired of this motherfucker. For some of you all, you're kind of in your head battling. You spirit has been constantly putting that idea there to start your own business because it has to do with your life path, baby. It's time to jump. Jump off the cliff. It looks good on the other side. When you let it go, you walk in your own essence of your own power, of your own substance. And you go recreate. If you're going to put your damn energy into building somebody else's dream, why aren't you worth the same thing anymore? Think about it. Why is the King of Swords here? Yeah, cutting someone out. <laughs> Letting someone know I'm not with the shits. I have to move forward. I have to move forward. This is about me. Harmony within myself in order to move forward. Because once I'm mentally gone, my body is going to follow like there's no tomorrow. And for some of you all, you're moving towards this lovers. Make the decision. Make the decision to choose love and only see situations not with judgment but with love and understanding and only see the lesson so that you can march to your damn blessing. Clarify this lovers. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, spirit. Ace of, you have something new to get to. Only person that can stand in your way is you. You gonna be your only damn blockage. So this is a battle between you against yourself. And you gonna win. The higher self you gonna win if you only see it with love. Through the spectrum of love. Okay? So this is what I have for my Virgos. My Virgos. My cousins.
for the month of March. If you need that personal, y'all, hit me up. I'm trying to get all these videos done so I can do a spring break sale, possibly from the middle to the end with this week. So y'all hit me up, definitely. I love you very, very, very much. Many look, Much love, many blessings, much peace, you all. Namaste. Bye, my babies.